So now let's talk about optional and default parameters. In the previous video, we talked about optional properties with interfaces, and for the same reasons, you might also want to have optional parameters. So let's create a function that makes a smoothie, and let's be specific. It's going to create a raspberry smoothie. And we're going to take in two booleans for parameters, raspberries and nut butter. And what this is going to return is an object that looks like this. So in this function, we're going to create a new smoothie and just going to use the options provided and return the new smoothie. So here we can call this function like so. But what happens if I want to omit the second second parameter of nut butter and I want to I want to call let me just remove this for simplicity. I want to call the function like so. So the way we do this is by using the optional modifier on the nut butter parameter. And then now we have to, of course, check to see if the nut butter is defined because in this case, second case, when, when this function gets executed, nut butter is undefined. Here it's false. So we will default the nut butter property to false. And then if the nut butter parameter is defined, then we will set that to the parameter. And that works. So for this, if we don't want to include nut butter, we can explicitly include false. It'll still set it, or we can omit it, and it will be by default false. And then of course, if you want a nut butter, we can include true as well. One thing to remember is that when working with optional parameters, they need to come after required parameters. So here, raspberries is re required and nut butter is optional. If it comes before, we get a type error. Here, TypeScript says a required parameter cannot follow an optional parameter. Because if I call the function with one parameter, does this mean that I'm omitting nut butter and that this means I want raspberries? Or does this mean I want nut butter and then I'm not passing anything for raspberries? An argument for raspberries was not provided. So this is ambiguous. So just remember that when working with optional parameters, they have to come after required parameters. So here, when I was working with optional parameters, we have a default of, for, we have a default, the nut butter default value is false. We can, TypeScript has built in, I'm pretty sure JavaScript as well, but there's built in functionality for you to declare a default value. So here we can set the default value of nut butter to false. And then we don't have to conditionally set the value of nut butter. And then here, this acts as an optional parameter because we have a default value of false, it's okay to omit it, omit it. So we can call it with just raspberries, we can have nut butter, or we can also explicitly say we don't want nut butter any option works. So optional and default parameters are similar in the sense that if a default parameter comes after a required parameter, it's optional and we get functionality like this where we can omit the default parameters, but default parameters actually become required if they come first for the same reasons, same reasons that ambiguity occurs if this is optional. So an argument for raspberries was not provided. So we can provide true for nut butter and false for raspberries. We can also explicitly say false. If we want to this value to be the default value, then we have to explicitly pass in undefined. So the next concept we'll go over is something called rest parameters. So sometimes you might want to create functions where the function doesn't know the amount of arguments passed into that function beforehand. Let's say I'm creating a function called print student name and it takes in a first name, which is a string, and a last name, which is a string. And this, let's say, prints 
the first name, or we'll call this function greet, and this prints, hello, my name is first name and last name. And then we can call greet with Jeff saying, let's compile this. And we get, hello, my name is Jeff Zhang. What happens if I want to include a middle name though? We get a type error because we're passing in three arguments instead of two. So with JavaScript, you would have access to a, an, uh, a parameter called argument where it would have, you, you can loop through the amount of arguments. But in TypeScript, we have something called a rest parameter. So here, we can make the first name mandatory, and then we can say that the amount of arguments after that is unknown, and we'll collect that in an array called rest of names. And this will be a string array. So then we can create the same functionality that we did before, but we will have to first do something like this, and then we can loop so through the rest of names um, for every name in rest of names. What is the type error here? It's a constant. For every let name of rest of names, we can log out the name. Name plus, or let's do the template like so. So then if we compile it and run it, whoops, hello, my name is name. Let's do that again. And we get, hello, my name is Jeff Zhang, and hello, my name is Jeff David Zhang. And that works. So the next thing we'll go over is a concept called overloading. Overloading is when you create a two functions with the same name, but with different type signatures. It's to the point of overloading is to avoid, I guess, code duplication. So if you're creating a function called add, and you want to first support an adding function for numbers. So you have a, which is a number, b, and a, b is a number, and this returns a plus b. But let's say you and you call it with nine and ten, and it's good. You will get the result. But let's say you want to your boss comes to you and they want to also create a function that adds strings. You see that the code, the implementation of the of the functionality between adding strings and numbers is the same thing because at the end of the day, it's just JavaScript that will be compiled, but the type signature is different. So you might create a function called add strings. And this is the same thing, except now that numbers are strings. So we can result two equals add strings, hello world. So this is redundant because we have the same code just with a different type signature and we want to create one function implementation with different type signatures. Unfortunately in JavaScript, overloading is not supported. So the overloading support in TypeScript is limited. We can only have overloading on the type level. So what we can do is create a function declaration called add. And this takes in a, which is a number, and b, a number. And this returns a number. So here, we're declaring the type of add to be of this type signature. And we can do the same thing with strings. And then here, we actually implement the function. So we're saying function add a and b. And see, the problem now is that a and b must be any. And here we get an error. 
let me just return a and b to see if that fixes it yeah so when we overload functions we overload the we can only overload on the type level so when i call add 9 and 10 that's fine and if i call it with strings that's fine and if i call it with another, something else that doesn't match the type of signature i'll get the type error but the problem is that at its core, JavaScript does not support overloading. So the types of A and B have to be any. It can't work any other way. And then the problem with this then is that if I want to get type safety on the parameters inside the function definition, then I'm going to have to use type guards. So I'm going to have to check if the type of A equals a number and do this type of dynamic code at runtime. So yeah, just one thing to remember when working with overloaded functions is that TypeScript overloaded definitions are only only exist on the type level. So when we compile this to JS, that then the two function overloaded function type declarations disappear. And let's open that up. And yeah, we see we only have that function. So if we need type safety, we're going to have to result back to typical checks at runtime to see, oh, is A is a number? Okay, then I can do number stuff. And yeah.